So good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I don't know, wherever you are. You know what, I had a brain fart last night and I was thinking those species that I got, those sandstone and ironstone species that I got the other day, I want to try something different and I haven't tried it before. I'm going to try melt these things down with hydraulic acid, uh, hydrochloric acid, and then see what comes of it, whether they break apart easier. I don't really want to smash them. I want to get the gold out with all the little frongs hanging off it and stuff. But I haven't tried hydrochloric acid before. I've just smashed them up with a hammer, pan them off, dried them up and, uh, and weighed it up. But I thought, ah, I'll try something different. So this is what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to get my little species. And I'm going to throw them in this mini little glass cup and fill it up with hydrochloric acid and I'm going to see what happens. So come join me on this ride. So, disclaimer, this is what we're using, hydrochloric acid. In Australia, we can just get this at Bunnings. You don't have to get five litres. I work in the building industry, so I use it. But what we do need is a pair of these old girls and a pair of these old girls. And that is just to protect us. So this, you know, for those that are a bit scared of hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, if you get it on yourself, you're not going to melt like the witch on, uh, on, what was it? Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna do that, right? It'll irritate your skin after a certain amount of time. So if you do get this on your skin, wash your skin. It, it neutralizes it. it, but you're not gonna instantly melt. If you get it on your clothes and you don't quickly, well, not quickly, but if you don't, you know, neutralize it in some water, then it will burn holes in your clothing. And I've found that out over the years and many hard yakka shirts have gone in the bin. So, I've put all the little species in the jar, well, in the glass little mini coffee cup that I've got. I'm just gonna pour some acid in and then leave it for a few hours, come back, see what it looks like. See if any of this is broken up. So you don't have to shake this stuff up or do anything stupid. Just be gentle. Put it in the cup. Oop. Now this is undiluted as well. So this is straight hydrochloric acid. It's not reacting. It's not like fizzing like what it does on brickwork or anything like that. It's, uh, it is turning yellow, so there is definitely a reaction happening. And, well, hopefully it uh, makes it a bit easier to get those gold pieces out. So here we are. And we're actually about 36 hours after I initially put the um, put the acid in the uh, in the jar here. If you stir it, you can see the colour. It's just black. So it is slowly getting it down. And I've been stirring it every say six hours. And um, yeah, so what I'm actually thinking about doing because it hasn't broken them down very well. Um, I'm thinking about uh, just replacing the acid with some new acid and then leaving it for another 24 hours and, um, and bringing it back. So yeah, it's a very slow processing compared with um, like caustic soda breaking down rock with that. So what we're gonna do, and I know it's a plastic bowl, but that's gonna be diluted straight away. So it's not gonna melt the bowl or do anything silly like that. So what we're gonna do is gently add some water. So I'll just clean the acid off the little drill bit that I've got there. 
that I've been using to stir it. And then gold is 19.3 times heavier than, than water, so the gold will sit down the bottom of this jar and we're just going to run it out and dilute it and then we're going to have a look at the rock. So I'm not sure if it picks up, but I might I might take a photo with the uh, with the camera and just add it on top. But there's definitely a lot more exposure on those rocks now to the little bits of gold. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's one right in the guts there that's really popped out. So it's definitely working. It's just a really slow process. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a minute. So we've got it in the uh, in the tub here, and so we started off with three exposed pieces of gold that I was just going to clean up because they were a bit stained. But now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So another three has fallen out. I'm not sure if you can pick up this one here. There's a there's a little nuggy coming out there. There's one there. There's one there. Uh, the light just went off a bit, but we will work through it. There's one right on the end there, and I think there's something still here, but this darker rock seems to be breaking down a lot quicker than than everything else. So anyway, I might um, I might help it along and just break it up a tiny bit. So just before we put it back in the acid, I've decided to give it a little bit of a helping hand because those, um, those rocks were quite hard. So I just gave them a little tap, little, little tap with the hammer. Um, there is some gold that's come out of it, which you can sort of see in the middle there. Um, but I'm just going to give the whole thing an acid bath for another 36 hours, small pieces, Let's see if it breaks down better than um, than what they have in those in those bigger chunks. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll see you in thirty six hours. All right, so we're back. So this is what our mixture looks like. It is, yeah, I don't know, ugly. It um, so now it is. It's about six thirty p.m. It's, uh, so I put the new acid in it at two o'clock yesterday afternoon. So it's been roughly 30 hours. So having a look, and I can't show you, but underneath you can see that there's, um, there's a bit of gold sticking out. So we are going to dilute this again. I'm sure my camera angles are fantastic. There's heaps of silty bits on this. And I'm gonna catch, uh, let's say if there's minute pieces of gold in it, hopefully this bowl underneath catches it. All right. Well, I think it's definitely broken it down. I can see, and I'm not sure whether that shows up through the water or not, but there's a few little pieces of gold in there down the bottom. So what we might do is I'm going to um, chuck this in a pan and pan it out and then um, collect all the little pieces of gold. This is what we're doing it for. So here we are, we're in the pan and we can see Hopefully the GoPro picks it up, although GoPros aren't well known to pick up things close up. We've got specks of gold everywhere. So I'll check out these other little bit. Oh, there's another little bit up there. And not, a, not big bits, but just a whole bunch of little bits. And gold's gold. So it doesn't matter how big it is, as long as it's the right color, huh? 
So this whole thing has been more of a bit of a documentary on on uh, an alternate way of doing it. Now, if I didn't have to make content, and really I, I don't have to make content, but I choose to make content. But if I didn't have to make content, I'd happily sit my rocks in you know, hydrochloric acid for days and days and days and just slowly melt it down. It's, it's certainly a lot easier of a process than doing it with caustic soda. Um, but, yeah, you know, this, this way you can just leave it, forget about it, and, uh, and come back and the gold's all exposed, like what it is here. But, you know, for those people that are curious on what it's like to just throw stuff into hydrochloric acid and and see how it melts it this is what i'm doing so anyway let's um let's get some of this down yeah one day i'm gonna have to go through my tub with like one of those little mini cleanup sluices and um and see what I've got there. But if I get rid of some of these bigger rocks that are there, I know there's nothing in those. Oh, look at that. You can just see the, the, uh, the acid has just turned it into mush. And that's, I'm pretty sure that was like a bit of quartz too. But anyway. So I'll get some water. I'll give it a swirl back. And then hopefully you can see this. So just little bits of gold. And then I'll I'll add this to my cup over there with the other bits that uh, that came loose last time, and we'll go upstairs and we'll um, I reckon we'll give it away in. I, I'm not confident that we're going to beat the half gram from from last weekend, but you know I'm pretty confident that it will be well, maybe somewhat close. Oh well, I'll see you up there. All right, so we're back upstairs. You can see in the bottom of the cup there, we got a little bit of gold. You know, with the machine screaming the way that it was, uh, I thought that there was like gonna be chunks, yeah? But, mm, obviously not. Anyway, let's weigh this up. Oh, I tell you what, they all add up, don't they? We have 0.58 Beautiful All right, well if you found this interesting Click like press subscribe and Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time